It is possible to find freedom from your anxiety. How do I know this to be true? Because I've dealt with it in my own life. And I want to show you how I found freedom from anxiety in my life. We haven't yet met. My name is Shanina. My mission here is to help you live an abundant life. And I do that by sharing faith, fun, and family. So if that's something that interests you, I'd love for you to follow along. Now, as I talk to different women throughout this journey of life, I realize how many of us are dealing with anxiety. It is overwhelming, it is debilitating, and it is scary. And I wanna share with you these tips that I have learned to deal with anxiety in my own life. The first tip I have for you is to share with someone. Satan wants to keep us in the darkness and when we expose this, these feelings of anxiety to the light, it is amazing how much better they get. Years ago, I dealt with anxiety. I dealt with it for a, about a year by myself. Nobody knew about it. I kept it to myself. And then I was just fed up and I was like, that's it. One night at Bible study, there was just a small group of ladies and I openly shared when it was prayer time that what I was dealing with and they gave me so much great information and when I exposed it to the light it started to get better. So I want to share with you this verse. It's 1 Peter 5 8 it says be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Satan is looking for someone to devour. He is looking for those that are vulnerable and that are weak and he wants us to stay that way. But when we share and expose things to the light, that's when freedom begins. I found this verse in Job, let me find it, that I wanted to read to you. Remember Job lost everything. I can't even imagine what the man went through, but as he's talking to his friends, he says this. It's Job 12, 22, it says, he reveals the deep things of darkness and brings deep shadows into the light. The Lord wants to bring the things that are in the darkness into the light. And that's what Job says about the Lord. He, he reveals the deep things of darkness and brings deep shadows into the light. So I want you to share. I know myself how hard it is to share that you're dealing with anxiety. It's embarrassing. It's scary. You have to be vulnerable, just like I'm being vulnerable with you. But freedom will come when you do that. Who do you share with? Someone that you trust, someone that's not gonna run and tell the whole world or share on Facebook or whatever. That could be a friend, that could be someone in your Bible study, it could be a counselor, it could be a family member. I don't know who that is for you, but whoever's popping into your mind right now, that's probably who you should share with. So share with a friend. And number two is to say the name of Jesus. When I was dealing with that, that anxiety, I cannot tell you how many times I found myself on the bathroom floor and, and in the middle of the night, scared to death. But when I started to say the name of Jesus, just the simple name of Jesus is all you have to say. Out loud, I want you to do it. Remember that song, there is power in the name of Jesus. And then it goes on to say, breaks every chain and it will break chains because Satan does not want to be in the presence of Jesus. He knows that he does not have any control over, over us if he does that. So I want you to do that. There have been times when I was laying in bed and that overwhelming fear, anxiety, tightness came into my heart and, and to my chest and I would just whisper the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, just if that's all you can do, I want you to say that name. I want I have a verse for you. Proverbs 18:10. Let me grab it here. Okay. It says, "The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are saved." I want you when you feel that anxiety come over you, run to his name, run to him and be safe in the in his strong arms and his tower. I promise you that if you call out to him, he hears you and he's going to wrap his arms around you. So number one, share, get it out, expose it to the light. Number two, when you have those moments, call on the name of Jesus. 
And number three, I want you to put on the armor of God. Now, you've heard this before. I know you have to put on the armor of God. But when you actually do this, it's going to make a big difference. Um, and the, the armor of God is in Ephesians 6. I'm going to read this to us. I want you to, to listen with fresh ears and an open heart to what the Lord has to say to you. Hold on just a second. Okay, so Ephesians 6, 10. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. It does not say if the day of evil comes. It says when the day of evil comes. So you need to equip yourself with the tools to use to fight. And that's what you have to do. You have to fight to find freedom from your anxiety. So then the next verses, they go into the different pieces of the armor. And I, my friend in Bible study years ago, even before I was dealing with anxiety, she gave me this paper and it was an excerpt from a book and I asked her a few months ago where this was from and she couldn't remember what book this was from, but I have to share this with you. It goes through the different meanings of the pieces of the armor. So it says, I put on the belt of truth. May it bind the truth of your word around me so I will not be a victim of Satan's lies and that I won't be unguarded and shamed by the evil one. May I put on the breastplate of righteousness to guard my heart from evil so I will remain pure and holy, protected under the blood of Jesus. Now I want you to, as you are um, reading these, reading the scripture and, and putting on your armor, I want you to, in your mind, put on the armor. When you think about the belt of truth, wrap it around your waist. Actually, in your mind, wrap it around your waist. Put up that breastplate of righteousness. I put on the shoes of peace to stand firm in the good news of the gospel so your peace will shine through me and be a light to all I meet. Take up the shield of faith so that I may be ready for Satan's fiery darts of doubt, denial, and deceit and not be vulnerable for spiritual defeat. Put on the helmet of salvation. Put it on. As you're reading this, put on the helmet to keep my mind focused on you, Lord, so Satan will not have a stronghold in my thoughts. Take up the sword of the Spirit, the two-edged sword of your word, to be ready in my hands so I can expose the tempting words of Satan. By faith, his warrior, this warrior has put on the whole armor of God. Now, some of these may stick out more to you than others. To me, the ones that I cling to the most are the belt of truth, because I need to fill my mind with truth, and then the helmet of salvation. I'm sorry. The shoes of peace because I need to have peace in my heart whenever I'm dealing with anxiety so whenever you're gripped with fear of anxiety or depression or whatever's plaguing you I want you to get out your Bible and read these uh, this is Ephesians 6 10 through 18 as you begin to put put these tools into practice your anxiety will lessen because you're exposing it to the light you're calling on the name of Jesus and you're you're putting on the armor of God. Does that mean that your anxiety is going to go away? I'm sorry to tell you that it's not. It's probably still going to be there. In fact, just a few weeks ago, I had what I would call an anxiety attack myself. I don't, it just, it just came on and I was in the middle of a conversation with Trent and I just felt that heaviness on my heart. And so I, I just stopped Trent in our conversation. I said, I know this is really weird, but I need you to know that I'm having some anxiety right now. I was very vulnerable to share with him, and, and I, it was scary to share with him, thinking, what is he going to think of me if I share that I'm, I'm dealing with this? But I've learned that I have to do this. So I shared with him, and he prayed with me, and I pulled out my Bible, and I 
did I read this armor of God and it eventually went away um, so I'm not saying that if you do these things it's gonna be gone forever but it's a way that you, things that you can use to combat the anxiety when it does come I want you to know that you're not alone in your feelings and it's okay to feel the way that you feel the Lord wants to draw you to him and if you have had found freedom from anxiety I would love to know what you have done would you please leave us in the, in, in the comments below what tools and tips you could you have used to combat anxiety so that the rest of us can learn if you have a friend that is dealing with anxiety will you share this with her share this in a message with her share this on your page so that someone can find freedom from anxiety there's a lot of people that are dealing with this in the dark like I did and I want them to find freedom and the Lord wants to wrap his loving arms around them.